It's 8.30 a.m. at Cologne Bonn Airport, and it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Research teams from across Germany have gathered here to carry out experiments in weightlessness. Once the door is closed and the cross-check is done, it's time for takeoff. Our flight path takes us over the North Sea to an area that's closed to other air traffic. The weather forecast is excellent, and there's no wind. The researchers take the final opportunity to prepare the experiments. We're in the middle of the plane. The experiments are set up all around me. Here's an experiment from Freiburg. They're trying to find out if they can prevent loss of muscle and bone mass during weightlessness using a vibration table. Vibration treatment is known to work against bone loss on Earth. Now Markus Grube and his team want to see if it will help astronauts keep fit under zero gravity. Even with daily workouts, astronauts lose muscle and bone mass during their time in space. Here on board the plane, the scientists from Freiburg had to install their vibration table in an insulating frame. We have to avoid transferring any forces to the other experimental setups here. This is supposed to be microgravity where there's no force, but we're producing vibrations. So we have to completely decouple our vibrations so none of them are transmitted to the aircraft. That's a major technological challenge in itself. Now it's time for the first parabolic flight maneuver. The pilots apply maximum thrust and take the aircraft into a steep climb. Everyone on board is now twice as heavy as on Earth. When the aircraft's climb is three times steeper than an ordinary takeoff, the pilot cuts the engine with the order injection. The aircraft goes into freefall. And suddenly everyone on board is weightless. It's a new experience for many of us, but the test subject from Freiburg barely notices. She's lashed onto the vibration table in the insulation frame and her legs are covered with sensors. They're measuring the activity of her muscles as they contract during the vibrations and at rest. Some 20 seconds later, the pilot gives the order to pull out. Everyone has to get their feet back on the floor and another phase of nearly twice the normal gravitational force begins. The first parabola feels very strange. Everything just flies up in the air. It's hard to describe. It's a strange feeling. Then, of course, there's the hyper-G phase when suddenly everything gets very heavy. That's also strange. But after a couple of parabolas, it starts to feel normal. And it's fun. But not for everyone. Some of the people on board suddenly start to suffer from air sickness. A second test subject is now hooked up to the vibration table experiment. The Freiburg team is satisfied with the day's work so far. The initial data indicate the vibration table can activate muscles under zero gravity as well. The first subject from Freiburg gets a chance to enjoy the sensation of weightlessness. We fly a total of 31 parabolas. It's been a once-in-a-lifetime chance to feel like an astronaut, if only for brief moments at a time. <laughs> 